The new plague of plastic rain. It's the latest terrifying evidence of the damage unchecked pollution is doing to the planet. How microplastics are literally pouring from the sky. Hey, right, welcome to the Dum Dum News channel. If you're new to the channel, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and leaving your comments below. So today the article is about the environment and I'm not going to read the entire article but I am going to read some of the sections. There's going to be a link in the description where you should go read the article for yourself. I highly recommend it. The article reads, the rain is effectively picking up from the atmosphere in a miserable cloud of microplastic particles that throngs the air all around the planet. The tiny particles, too small to be seen with the naked eye, are collected by the wind as a toxic dust from the ground. They are so light that they stay afloat, to be blown often hundreds, even thousands of miles around the globe. Still, more of them are released along with spray from the sea and are blown back to the land. And as they climb into the atmosphere, they are thought to act as nuclei around which water vapor condenses to form clouds. Some of the dust falls back to the land in dry conditions but the rest comes down as truly hard rain. This plastic rain may recall the acid rain caused by emissions of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide, most famously from power stations that plagued Europe and North America some decades ago, but it is far more widespread and very much harder to deal with. Some microplastics are even manufactured deliberately to provide abrasion in a host of products such as toothpaste, cleansers, cosmetics, paints, and detergents. They are increasingly being found in birds, insects, mammals, and sea life, in the food we eat, the water we drink, and in the air we breathe. And they end up in us too. They have even recently been found in human placentas. Side note, for those of you that don't know what the human placenta is, here is a picture and the definition of a human placenta on the screen. Further in the article it says, instead of degrading, it breaks down into smaller and smaller pieces. A plastic bag thrown out decades ago still remains, in countless tiny microplastic pieces circling the globe. And the more time goes by, the smaller and the more dangerous and dispersible the pieces get. Microplastics have been found coating the highest Alps and the bottom of the Verena Trench, the deepest spot in the world's oceans. They lie on the beaches in the Medivals and the Arctic and Arctic ice. None of this is doing any good. The particles affect soil structure, for example, causing fewer seeds to germinate and slowing plant and crop growth. Lastly, it says, the best we can do is to try to stop it getting worse. The government has banned manufactured microplastics and the EU is to consider restrictions on the use of next month but these are only addressed part of the problem. So it turns out that using plastic is much worse than we probably think it is. Using one straw we think may not harm the environment or a plastic bag, but in actuality, it's a lot worse than we're thinking because instead of degrading, this is just breaking down into these micro pieces, these tiny pieces that you can't even see and are floating around in the air, on the earth, and now they're coming down in the rain. So if you're outside in the rain, you might want to think twice about swallowing any of that water because you're going to get those microplastics in your body. Well, guys, I really hope we can all come together to save the planet and make the planet a better place, maybe by using less plastic next time, reuse your plastics or go for another option. Well, what are your comments? What are your thoughts? What are your solutions? Leave them in the comments below. For the Dum Dum News Channel, I'm Dum Dum.